So hello, my first question is, could you please introduce yourself and the project you're presenting here? My name is Ronnie Wilson, I'm Chief Executive of First Step Trust. Um, I'm Sasha Bennett and I'm the Employment Development Worker at First Step Trust. The project will present the smart, socially minded and responsible trading. And, and the idea behind the smart project is that we're using trading as a way of generating funds instead of asking statutory agencies or government for funds. We're looking to trade with the public, we're looking at automotive, ca cafe, restaurant and the idea is that when you exchange trade, you sell services and you get funding rather than an application procedure and waiting for somebody else's decision. Um, so uh, what are the top three reasons, according to you, which make this program such a success? Um, the fact that we actually help to take people from the shop floor and move them on into actual paid employment or to further education. In my role, it's about developing people and putting them in the right direction, so I get the opportunity to do that and challenge people and make them become better than what they thought they were. I think the other part is co-production, the idea that what we're doing is co-producing something with people. We're working with people as colleagues and partners, not recipients of a service. So we are the service receiver rather than the people. And I think the third thing, if you've <laughs> no clue. Um, uh, probably the, the fact that we, um, going back to the thing about handouts, it's the fact that we actually create roles ourselves. And it's not only working with cars, it's diverse roles. It's not saying you can only do one thing. We do finance and we do admin and we do um, different things, basically. So it's actually giving people more opportunity to learn new things. And that's what we're about. Choice. I think choice, giving you a fourth thing, choice is really important, that people have control over their life by making choices. And you don't have a choice if the only choice is yes or no. Choice is more than yes or no. Choice is about people being able to say, well, that, yes, a bit of that, a bit of that. That's real choice. And I think we're trying to deliver that. Um, when we think about internationalising this project or idea, do you see any obstacles one might run across? If you've got a car, if you've got a van or you've got a truck, then the garage is transferable. If you want to eat, then restaurants are transferable. Mm -hmm. International language of food and vehicles is, you don't need English, you don't need Deutsch, you don't need French, just drive or eat, simple. So there's no barriers that we can recognise now. Okay. And um, my last question would be, uh, what are your impressions of the Zero Project Conference so far and also what is, what is your wish for the future? Yeah. To me, the Zero Project is really good because it's actually unification of people. When you all have a different organisations come together, but have a joint message about helping people to overcome barriers, then that's a strong message to actually put out, and it's good to do it as a, as a unit. I think it's good because what it's actually doing is putting in the front line people who deliver services. So not just politicians, not just purchasers and commissioners, but people who actually deliver services and put them in contact with people who can make decisions. So for me, the project's a good piece of work. I think for the future, I'm looking forward to the third conference and the 15th and the 20th conference, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Age permitting. <laughs> Same thing, really. It's just to continue to actually get this message out there and to get more people involved in more countries and so forth, because as many people are doing things, no one has seen it yet. So it's about getting everyone involved and getting the message out there. C could I just say one last thing? One last thing that this does allow us to do, and it would be appreciated, is we've got a lot of support. We've got Stavros Nairkos Foundation, we've got the National Lottery in the UK, we've got councils in, in the NHS in Britain supporting us. And I think that, you know, this is a kind of mixed badge, and it really is important that things like the Zero Project hear that. And yesterday we had an opportunity in our presentation to sort of say thank you. So I think the conference also allows people who receive support to say thank you. So it's a very, very important piece of work. Okay. okay. Thank you very much.